<clears throat> okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to enable access to view all users' files and folders from the admin login. So first thing you need to do is you've got to go to apps and you've got to enable external storage support, which you see I have enabled here. Once you've got that plugin enabled, we're going to go down to admin. And again, you must be logged in as the admin user. In the settings area of admin, we're going to choose external storages. Um, here on external storage, we are going to select local, which means it's going to look in the local server that uh, Nextcloud is hosted on. The configuration must have a server level file system path to where the data files are stored for Nextcloud. And then you have to select the admin group available for the admins, which what basically that means is we want all the stuff in here available to anybody that's an administrator. And we're going to check that to save it. Should get a green circle over here. Now we're going to go click on our home page and you'll notice a new folder that says local. And you can also get to that with external storages over here on the left. Same folder says local. Now that gives you a bunch of, this is all the data that Nextcloud has. And just to show you that we've got what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, user IDs. And we're going to take a look at the folder within the server itself. So I'm SSH'd into the same server. We're going to list that out and you can see we have those same user IDs in here. And if I count them up, I'm sure they're going to come up to the same 13. So we, now we know what we're looking at, but we can't tell what user. There's no way to tell what user these files belong to. So we're going to open up a separate tab and we're going to go to logged in as admin, go to the users section, and that's going to show you what, I, what user ID goes to which user. Unfortunately, there's no setting that would show us. I don't think, no, there's no setting that shows us who the user of this account is. Oh, wait a second. Comments. Oh, those are my comments. Forget about it. Okay, so we see 1B7A. 1B7A belongs to Jennifer. You'll just have to match those up and you'll know, for instance, 1B7 is Jennifer. And here are Jennifer's files, documents, you know, and you can see some of these users at a glance are not using them. These photos that you see here are the default photos supplied with Nextcloud, so we don't have to worry about Jennifer. We'll click on Katie, 1BA, and we have files, and we do see, okay, community engagement folders. So now we've got some folders that have a lot more data. Now, it gives an option next to these folders for downloads and see what happens. Well, look at that. It's going to zip them up and give us a nice package with all of Katie's files. So that's how you view all users and their um, data and how you can download that data. So if you're going to migrate it to another server or whatever the case may be. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.